Welcome to Commercial Innovators, where we spotlight the heroes of digital transformation. I'm Heath McKnight. Joining me today is Misty Ramirez. Misty, please tell me a little bit about your company. I work with Alliance Transportation Group. We are a transportation planning and traffic engineering firm headquartered in Austin, Texas. Basically anything that moves out on the streets or out in the population sidewalks, you know, people walking, bikes, cars, buses, um, freight, rail, anything to do with that, we study it from a single car or on a single street corner up to we build statewide traffic models and we monitor or we model build computer simulation models for traffic on a statewide basis. And then a flip side on our engineering, you know, that planning side, we're doing things that are far off and in the future, when something becomes an immediate need, we have engineers who do the design work for that. So we also do roadway design, traffic signal design, pavement marking design. We do all of the actual down to the plans and specifications that go out. So planning it 50 years in advance, all the way down to something that can be constructed tomorrow. Awesome. And um, you were telling me earlier about Salesforce. Um, and I think it's really interesting um, what, what you had mentioned to me. But initially, w- w- when your company uh, got a license for Salesforce, what were the goals? So our initial goals for Salesforce are were to be able to get what I like to call the soft touches into mm-hmm. a computer system and to be documented. Um, we are very data heavy. We build computer simulation models. So we take that mind and that theory into everything. So we are very data heavy on why we did or didn't go after a proposal. You know, what were our criteria? How can we do better? So when the same RFP is issued in three years that we're able to do it. So we track everything we've done from a contractual standpoint, you know, statistics on what we won, what we didn't win, um, how we, uh, you know, how we did money wise, what we spent. We do all that. And we have a great ERP and we're able to pull data on anything you'd like. But it was a very unuser friendly ERP. So we tried for a long time to just get people to put their soft touches in. And by Mm -hmm. soft touches, I mean, when you meet with someone, when you talk with someone, what did you learn? And getting that information so that I use the word crowdsource so that we can crowdsource the development of that knowledge. So that, like I said earlier, when we're tracking this RFP now and we have three years to improve our position, How did we do that? How can we do that? So we needed soft touches. So we wanted to, we initially purchased Salesforce and we use it to create those soft touches. It's a much more user-friendly, available environment that people can go in. They can see when they have a, you know, when they have a meeting or what client they've met with. And then we can look at that together as a group. Um, I believe in what you're mentioning, the second part of, we like our data to be in one repository. Mm-hmm. So let me touch on that and why we did not just go with a commercial individual. I mean, sorry, with just a Salesforce standalone, we went the commercial sync because we wanted to be able to see the data from our projects and our historical data with our clients. We want to be able to access that by our sales folks in Salesforce. Additionally, I want those soft touches to be able to go into my um overall database. I want to be able to keep up with those and preserve those in my SQL database with all of my project data. So I have a client-based system that's, you know, per client. So we um, got the commercial, you know, we purchased the commercial sync to go along with that, to be able to bring that data back and forth from Salesforce. What we have found is that in addition to using it on our business development side, as we had wanted to and tracking our progress with clients and our soft touches and such is we pull the sales for, we pull the project data from our, from our ERP. So some of our project and accounting staff are able to actually use the graphic components, the presentation components of Salesforce and use that related to the project data also. So we're able to use Salesforce on both sides using the data that we bring over from our ERP via commercial. Wow, that, that's incredible. And I think it's a, a, a much more unique uh, use case than what normally I would hear. Um, And so that is really fascinating. And um, tell me a little bit about your role in all of this with with, uh, Salesforce and Commercial and and everything. My role at ATG is, it's called corporate compliance is actually my title, but I work with all of our data. I've been a longtime user. We're looking at 
two decades in our ERP system. So I've been a long-term user of our ERP and very familiar with the data that we track in there and how to, you know, develop, you know, it was a user-friendly reports for staff or how to get that data to the people who need to use it. And I'm talking on the project side, away from the accounting side. You know, accounting uses it. I like to say what they put in there is true, factual, and I'm going to use it over on the project side, which is where we figure out how we can use it in the soft touch. So my role has been the long-term data person. Um, I work on special projects depending on the need of our company as we've changed. For the last three or four years, it's been in our business development. Um, as we grow, we have excellent senior staff who track all these soft touches in all of their independent way. But we wanted to have a method of sharing that knowledge with others and also developing them into the habits and into the um, appropriate information that you need to keep on these soft touches and how we do need, how they are beneficial for us to be able to know. So we looked for a, a database type system, Salesforce, to be able to do that. And so I've gotten to work on it for about the last three years. I've been working as part of my job in the business development side um, wow. to do that and work with our documentation. Other than that, I'm designing our training system. Um, we've also, aside from commercial, we've developed an in-house labor management tool. So we take a Microsoft project from 189 projects. We pull all that data into one central labor management system so we can look at staff across the company and how mm -hmm. they're being used. So I, um, that's another portion of what we do. And then you know, the training that comes along with developing our staff from entry level or project related staff up into management who are the ones who are using these advanced, these other systems. Wow. That's that, kind of that, a nutshell. Yeah, <laughs> that's incredible. And, uh, and you were telling me about, about the growth of the company. I think that that's incredible as well. Um, you, you had kind of touched on it, but I was wondering if you could talk uh, a little bit more uh, before we wrap up this call about Salesforce it being a lot more user-friendly, especially for graphs, reports, et cetera. I, I would say the majority of companies have, we support 110 ERPs actually over. And I don't think I've ever heard one say that it's easy to navigate their ERP. However, Salesforce or another ERP, uh, CRM, excuse me, super easy to create reports and everything. And when we funnel that data over, it's very simple to pull up. If, if they want graphs, they've got the graphs. If they want like a real detailed report, it's easy to make, but it's also easy to understand. And uh, I was wondering if you could just touch upon that a little bit more. So I do want to preface this with, I love our ER. I don't love our ERP. I can work in our ERP and I can get you anything you want out of our ERP. So yeah. interestingly enough, in one of our first meetings with our president and they asked him, can you get any, you know, how, what do you find the difference in dealing with Salesforce and your ERP? You know, how do you get information from your ERP? He said, oh, I can get anything I want. I just asked Misky for it. And I said, yes, that's it. Whereas I find <laughs> that with Salesforce, you know, I had him, I had to miss a meeting on Tuesday. And I had him on the phone and I said, you know, I actually had emailed him and said, you know, I prepared this report in Salesforce, you know, this shows this data, you know, this is what we were planning to talk about in our monthly pipeline meeting. And he gets me on teams. He says, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the report. Didn't expect that. So he himself was in Salesforce pulling up the report. So all the staff were able to look at it and use it. Yes. And so uh -huh. I find that the Salesforce gives them the ability to sometimes, and even if it's not a report they're printing out. But through the use of the dashboards and through the, the click and pull, you know, mm -hmm. I can go into, you know, to our ERP and I can pull you any report you want and give you any amount of data. And those guys can take off with that. But Salesforce gives us the ability for him to click on it at the, you know, click on it at the push of a button. He's able to figure that out or to see that information much more user friendly. Yeah. And then I think a little what you were alluding to is one of the things we didn't expect and one of the added bonuses we didn't did not go after Salesforce for is we're able to do the same thing with our project data. Now, the data that conversion pulls over from the ERP to the CRM, we're able to pull that up and look at it and analyze it. Yesterday, we were talking about some contracts and we're able to pull that information and look at that, you know, in all of the same positive ways and using all of the same, you know, filters and, and such. Um, I will mean, we do not 
have a sync. We do not put data from our CRM to our ERP on the project side of things. We okay. simply do it on the contacts and on the business development. So for those items, you know, we have our commercial sync going back and forth. But the gotcha. added benefit of the project data has been has been wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. And um, the one thing I did want to ask before I wrap this up is any kind of metrics, um, I guess, like just the time savings of being able to, at the push of a button, pull up those those um, charts and stuff in the dashboard. But anything that like maybe it would have taken longer, but commercial kind of helped by automating that data sync. Um, well, I think without, without commercial, I don't think we would have been able to do the data sync. You know, I mean, without commercial, we wouldn't have been able to. So what I find commercial, so with Salesforce, I think, and I've not tracked an added metric. We've actually started telling guys, this is what we want to track. With commercial, we're able to get soft touches into a system and get those into the database that we weren't before. So that would probably be a metric. Um, as far as company growth, and this is a blessing, you know, our company growth has already has been significant prior to the implementation of Salesforce. You know, we just mm -hmm. want to be able to replicate that in additional geographies. And so we're looking for ways to be able to, to mimic and to share what we do on a larger scale. If that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yes. Um, so we have, um, you know, so we've used the the Dell Tech sync to, you know, we use the commercial sync to share that data back and forth. And so we have, I apologize. So we have been able to, I think the metric that you would be looking for is we've tracked more soft touches than previously. So more appointments that people are going out to, more items coming off of their Outlook calendar are able to be fed into our database and we're able to look at all those together versus how we were previously. Wow. That's incredible. Well, thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it very much.